The Meaning of the Glorious Koran, translated by Mohammed Marmaduke Pictal. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Surah 1. The Opening. Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the Worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Master of the Day of Judgment, Thee alone we worship, Thee alone we ask for help. Show us the straight path, the path of those whom Thou hast favored, not the path of those who earn Thine anger, nor of those who go astray. Surah 2. The Cow Revealed at Medina, in the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, Alif Lam Mim. This is the scripture whereof there is no doubt, a guidance unto those who ward off evil who believe in the unseen, and establish worship, and spend of that we have bestowed upon them, and who believe in that which is revealed unto thee, Mohammed, and that which was revealed before thee, and are certain of the hereafter. These depend on guidance from their Lord. These are the successful. As for the disbelievers, whether thou warn them or warn them not, it is all one for them. They believe not. Allah hath sealed their hearing in their hearts, and on their eyes there is a covering. Theirs will be an awful doom. And of mankind are some who will say, We believe in Allah and the last day, when they believe not. They think to beguile Allah and those who believe, and they beguile none save themselves, but they perceive not. In their hearts is a disease, and Allah increaseth their disease. A painful doom is theirs, because they lie. Make not mischief in the earth, they say, We are peacemakers only. Are not they indeed mischief-makers? But they perceive not. And when it is said unto them, Believe as the people believe, they say, Shall we believe as the foolish believe? Are not they indeed the foolish? But they know not. And when they fall in with those who believe, they say, We believe. But when they go apart to their devils, they declare, Lo, we are with you. Verily we did but mock. Allah himself doth mock them, leaving them to wander blindly in their contumacy. These are they who purchase error at the price of guidance, so their commerce doth not prosper, neither are they guided. Their likeness is as the likeness of one who kindleth fire, and when it sheddeth its light around him, Allah taketh away their light, and leaveth them in darkness, where they cannot see. Deaf, dumb, and blind, and they return not. Or like a rainstorm from the sky, wherein is darkness, thunder, and the flash of lightning. They thrust their fingers in their ears by reason of the thunderclaps, for fear of death. Allah encompasseth the disbelievers in his guidance, his omniscience, and his omnipotence. The lightning almost snatcheth away their sight from them. As often as it flasheth forth for them, they walk therein, and when it darkeneth against them, they stand still. If Allah willed, he could destroy their hearing and their sight. Lo, Allah is able to do all things. O mankind, worship your Lord, who hath created you and those before you, so that you may ward off evil. Who hath appointed the earth a resting place for you, and the sky a canopy, and causeth water to pour down from the sky? thereby producing fruits as food for you. And do not set up rivals to Allah when ye know better. And if ye are in doubt concerning that which we reveal unto our slave Mohammed, then produce a surah of the like thereof, and call your witness beside Allah if ye are truthful. And if ye do it not, and ye can never do it, then guard yourselves against the fire prepared for disbelievers, whose fuel is of men and stones. And give glad tidings, O Mohammed, unto those who believe and do good works, that theirs are gardens underneath which rivers flow. As often as they are regaled with food of the fruit thereof, they say, This is what was given to us aforetime, and it is given to them in resemblance. There for them are pure companions, there for ever they abide. Lo, Allah disdaineth not to coin the similitude even of a gnat. Those who believe know that it is the truth from their Lord, but those who disbelieveth say, What doth Allah wish to teach by such a similitude? He misleadeth many thereby, and he guideth many thereby, and he misleadeth thereby only miscreants. Those who break the covenant of Allah after ratifying it, and sever that which Allah ordered to be joined, and who make mischief in the earth, those are they who are the losers. How disbelieve ye in Allah, when ye were dead, and he gave life to you? Then he will give you death, then life again, and then unto him ye will return. He it is who created for you all that is in the earth. Then turned he to the heaven, and fashioned it as seven heavens. And he is knower of all things. And when thy Lord said unto the angels, Lo, I am about to place a viceroy in the earth, they said, 
Wilt thou place therein one who will do harm therein and will shed blood? While we, we hymn thy praise and sanctify thee. He said, Surely I know that which ye know not. And he taught Adam all the names, then showed them to the angels, saying, Inform me of the names of these, if ye are truthful. They said, Be glorified. We have no knowledge, saving that which thou hast taught us. Lo, thou, only thou, art the knower, the wise. He said, O Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the secret of the heavens and the earth? And I know that which ye disclose, and that which ye hide. And when we said unto the angels, Prostrate yourselves before Adam, they fell prostrate, all save Iblis. He demurred through pride, and so became a disbeliever. And we said, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden, and eat ye freely of the fruits thereof where ye will, but come not nigh this tree, lest ye become wrongdoers. But Satan caused them to deflect therefrom, and expelled them from the happy state in which they were. And we said, Fall down, one of you a foe unto the other. There shall be for you on earth a habitation and provision for a time. Then Adam received from his Lord words of revelation, and he relented toward him. Lo, he is the relenting, the merciful. We said, Go down, all of you, from hence, but verily there cometh unto you from me a guidance, and whoso followeth my guidance, there shall no fear come upon him, neither shall they grieve. But they who disbelieve and deny our revelations, such are rightful peoples of the fire, they will abide therein. O children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and fulfil your part of the covenant. I shall fulfil my part of the covenant, and fear me. And believe in that which I reveal, confirming that which ye possess already of the Scripture, and be not first to disbelieve therein, and part not with my revelations for a trifling price, and keep your duty unto me. Confound not truth with falsehood, nor knowingly conceal the truth. Establish worship, pay the poor due, and bow your heads with those who bow in worship. Enjoin ye righteousness upon mankind, while ye yourselves forget, to practice it? And are ye readers of the Scripture? Have ye then no sense? Seek help in patience and prayer, and truly it is hard, save for the humble-minded. Who know that they will have to meet their Lord, and that unto him they are returning? O children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and how I preferred you to all creatures. And guard yourselves against a day when no soul will in aught avail another, nor will intercession be accepted from it, nor will compensation be received from it, nor will they be helped. And remember when we did deliver you from Pharaoh's folk, who were afflicting you with dreadful torment, slaying your sons and sparing your women, that was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when we brought you through the sea and rescued you, and drowned the folk of Pharaoh in your sight, and when we did appoint for Moses forty nights of solitude, and then ye chose the calf, when he had gone from you, and were wrongdoers, then, even after that, we pardoned you in order that ye might give thanks. And when we gave unto Moses the scripture and the criterion of right and wrong, that ye might be led aright, and when Moses said unto his people, O oh, my people, ye have wronged yourselves by your choosing of the calf for worship, so turn in penitence to your Creator, and kill the guilty yourselves. That will be best for you with your Creator, and he will relent toward you. Lo, he is the relenting, the merciful. And when ye said, O oh, Moses, we will not believe in thee till we see Allah plainly, and even while ye gaze the lightning seized you. Then we revived you after your extinction, that ye might give thanks. And we caused the white cloud to overshadow you, and sent down on you manna and quails, saying, Eat of the good things wherewith we have provided you. They wronged us not, but they did wrong themselves. And when we said, Go into this township, and eat freely of that which is therein, and enter the gate prostrate, and say, Repentance, we will forgive you your sins, and will increase reward for the right doers. But those who did wrong changed the word which had been told them for another, saying, We sent down upon the evil doers wrath from heaven for their evil doing. And when Moses asked for water for his people, we said, Smite with thy staff the rock. And there gushed out therefrom twelve springs, so that each tribe knew their drinking place. Eat and drink of that which Allah hath provided, and do not act corruptly, making mischief in the earth. And when ye said, O Moses, we are weary of one kind of food, so call upon thy Lord for us, that he may bring forth for us of that which the earth groweth, of its herbs, and its cucumbers, and its corn, and its lentils, and its onions. He said, Would ye exchange that which is higher for that which is lower? Go down to settled country, thus ye shall get that of which ye demand. 
and humiliation, and wretchedness were stamped upon them, and they were visited with wrath from Allah. That was because they disbelieved in Allah's revelation, and slew the prophets wrongfully. That was for their disobedience and transgression. Lo, those who believe in that which is revealed unto thee, Mohammed, and those who are Jews, and Christians, and Sabaeans, whoever believeth in Allah and the last day, and doeth right, surely their reward is with the Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. And remember, O children of Israel, when we made a covenant with you, and caused the mount to tower above you, saying, Hold fast that which we have given you, and remember that which is therein, that ye may ward off evil. Then, even after that, ye turned away, and if it had not been for the grace of Allah and his mercy, ye had been among the losers. And ye know of those of you who broke the Sabbath, how we said unto them, Be ye apes, despised and hated, and we made it an example to their own and to succeeding generations, and an admonition to the God-fearing. And when Moses said unto his people, Lo, Allah commandeth you that ye sacrifice a cow, they said, Dost thou make game of us? He answered, Allah forbid that I should be among the foolish. They said, Pray for us unto thy Lord, that he make clear to us what cow she is. Moses answered, Lo, he saith, Verily she is a cow neither with calf nor immature. She is between the two conditions, so do that which ye are commanded. They said, Pray for us unto thy Lord, that he make clear to us of what color she is. Moses answered, Lo, he saith, Verily she is a yellow cow, bright as her color, gladdening beholders. They said, Pray for us unto thy Lord, that he make clear to us what cow she is. Lo, cows are much alike to us, and lo, if Allah wills, we may be led aright. Moses answered, Lo, he saith, Verily she is a cow unyoked, she ploweth not the soil, nor watereth the tilth, whole and without mark. They said, Now thou bringest the truth. So they sacrificed her, though almost they did not. And remember, when ye slew a man, and disagreed concerning it, and Allah brought forth that which ye were hiding, and we said, Smite him with some of it. Thus Allah bringeth the dead to life, and showeth you his portent, so that ye may understand. Then, even after that, your hearts were hardened, and became as rocks, or worse than rocks, for hardness. For indeed there are rocks from out which rivers gush, and indeed there are rocks which split asunder, so that water floweth from them. And indeed there are rocks which fall down for the fear of Allah. Allah is not unaware of what ye do. Have ye any hope that they will be true to you when a party of them used to listen to the word of Allah, then used to change it, after they had understood it, knowingly? And when they fall in with those who believe, they say, We believe. But when they go apart, one with another, they say, Pray ye to them of which Allah hath disclosed to you, that they may contend with you before your Lord concerning it? Have ye then no sense? Are they then unaware that Allah knoweth that which they keep hidden, and that which they proclaim? Among them are unlettered folk who know the scripture not, except from hearsay. They but guess. Therefore, woe be unto those who write the scripture with their hands, and then say, This is from Allah, that they may purchase a small gain therewith. Woe unto them, for that their hands have written, and woe unto them, for that they earn thereby. And they say, The fire of punishment will not touch us, save for a certain number of days. Say, Have ye received a covenant from Allah? Truly, Allah will not break his covenant. Or tell ye concerning Allah that which ye know not? Nay, but whosoever hath done evil, and his sins surrounded him, such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. And those who believe and do good works, such are rightful owners of the garden, they will abide therein. And remember, when we made a covenant with the children of Israel, saying, Worship none save Allah only, and be good to parents, and kindred, and to orphans, and the needy, and speak kindly to mankind, and establish worship, and pay the poor due. Then, after that, ye slid back, save a few of you, being averse. And when we made with you a covenant, saying, Shed not the blood of your people, nor turn a party of your people out of your dwellings, then ye ratified our covenant, and ye were witnesses thereto. Yet ye it is who slay each other, and drive out a party of your people from their homes, supporting one another against them by sin and transgression? And if they came to you as captives, ye would ransom them, whereas their expulsion was itself unlawful for you. Believe ye in part of the scripture, and disbelieve ye in part thereof? And what is the reward of those who do save ignominy in the life of the world, and on the day of resurrection they will be consigned to the most grievous doom? For Allah is not unaware of what ye do. Such are those who buy the life of the world at the price of the hereafter. Their punishment will not be lightened, neither will they have support. 
And verily we gave unto Moses the scripture, and we caused a train of messengers to follow after him. And we gave unto Jesus, son of Mary, clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. Is it ever so, that when there cometh unto you a messenger from Allah, with that which ye yourselves desire not, ye grow arrogant, and some ye disbelieve, and some ye slay? And they say, Our hearts are hardened. Nay, but Allah hath cursed them for their unbelief. Little is that which they believe. And when there cometh unto them a scripture from Allah, confirming that in their possession, though before they were asking for a signal triumph over those who disbelieved, and when there cometh unto them that which they know to be the truth, they disbelieve therein. The curse of Allah is on disbelievers. Evil is that for which they sell their souls, that they should disbelieve in that which Allah hath revealed, grudging that Allah should reveal of his bounty unto whom he will of his slaves. They have incurred anger upon anger. For disbelievers is a shameful doom. And when it is said unto them, Believe in that which Allah hath revealed, they say, We believe in that which was revealed unto us, and they disbelieve in that which cometh after it, though it is the truth confirming that which they possess. Say unto them, O Muhammad, Why, then, slew ye the prophets of Allah aforetime, if ye are indeed believers? And Moses came unto you with clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, yet while he was away ye chose the calf for worship, and ye were wrongdoers. And when we made with you a covenant, and caused the mount to tower above you, saying, Hold fast by that which we have given you, and hear our word, they said, We hear and we rebel. And worship of the calf was made to sink into their hearts, because of their rejection of the covenant. Say unto them, Evil is that which your belief enjoineth on you, if ye are believers. Say unto them, If the abode of the hereafter and the providence of Allah is indeed for you alone, and not for others of mankind, as ye pretend, then long for death, for ye must long for death, if ye are truthful. But they will never long for it, because of that which their own hands have set before them. Allah is aware of evil doers, And thou wilt find them greediest of mankind for life, and greedier than the idolaters. Each one of them would like to be allowed to live a thousand years, and to live a thousand years would by no means remove him from the doom. Allah is a seer of what they do. Say, O Muhammad, to mankind, Who is an enemy to Gabriel? For he it is who hath revealed this scripture to thy heart by Allah's leave, confirming that which was revealed before it, and a guidance and glad tidings to believers. Who is an enemy to Allah and his angels and his messengers, and Gabriel and Michael? Then, lo, Allah himself is an enemy to disbelievers. Verily we have revealed unto thee clear tokens, and only miscreants will disbelieve in them. Is it ever so, that when they make a covenant, a party of them set it aside? The truth is, most of them believe not. And when there cometh unto them a messenger from Allah, confirming that which they possess, a party of those who hath received the scripture fling the scripture of Allah behind their backs, as if they knew not, and follow that which the devils falsely related against the kingdom of Solomon. Solomon disbelieved not, but the devils disbelieved, teaching mankind magic, and that which was revealed to the two angels in Babel, Harut and Marut. Nor did they, the two angels, teach it to any one till they had said, we are only a temptation, therefore disbelieve not in the guidance of Allah. And from these two angels people learn that by that which they cause division between man and wife, but they injure thereby no one save by Allah's leave. And they learn that which harmeth them and profiteth them not. And surely they do know that he who trafficketh therein will have no happy portion in the hereafter, and surely evil is the price for which they sell their souls, if they but knew. And if they had believed and kept from evil, a recompense from Allah would be better, if they only knew. O ye who believed, say not unto the prophet, Listen to us, but say, Look upon us, and be ye listeners. For disbelievers is a painful doom. Neither those who disbelieve among the people of the Scripture, nor the idolaters love that there should be sent down unto you any good thing from your Lord. But Allah chooseth for his mercy whom he will, and Allah is of infinite bounty. Nothing of your revelation, even a single verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we bring in place one better or the like thereof. Knowest thou not that Allah is able to do all things? Knowest thou not that it is Allah unto whom belongeth the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and ye have not beside Allah any guardian or helper? Or would ye question your messenger as Moses was questioned aforetime? He who chooseth disbelief instead of faith, verily he hath gone astray from a plain road. Many of the people of the Scripture long to make you disbelievers after your belief, through envy on their own account, after the truth hath become manifest unto them. 
Forgive and be indulgent toward them until Allah give command. Lo, Allah is able to do all things. Establish worship and pay the poor due, and whatever of good ye send before you for your souls, ye will find it with Allah. Lo, Allah is a seer of what you do. And they say, None entereth paradise unless he be a Jew or a Christian. These are their own desires. Say, Bring your proof of what ye state, if ye are truthful. Nay, but whosoever surrendereth his purpose to Allah while doing good, his reward is with his Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. And the Jews say the Christians follow nothing true, and the Christians say the Jews follow nothing true, yet both are readers of the Scripture. Even thus speak those who know not. Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differ. And who doth greater wrong than he who forbiddeth the approach to the sanctuaries of Allah, lest his name should be mentioned therein, and striveth for their ruin. As for such, it was never meant that they should enter them except in fear. Theirs in the world is ignominy, and theirs in the hereafter is an awful doom. Unto Allah belong the east and the west, and whithersoever thou turn, there is Allah's countenance. Lo, Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. And they say, Allah hath taken unto himself a son, be he glorified. Nay, but whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth is his, all are subservient unto him. The originator of the heavens and the earth, when he decreeth a thing, he saith unto it only, Be, and it is. And those who have no knowledge say, Why doth not Allah speak unto us, or some sign come unto us? Even thus, as they now speak, spake those who were before them. Their hearts are all alike. We have made clear the revelations for people who are sure. Lo, we have sent thee, O Muhammad, with the truth, a bringer of glad tidings, and a warner. And thou wilt not be asked about the owners of hellfire. And the Jews will not be pleased with thee, nor will the Christians, till thou follow their creed. Say, Lo, the guidance of Allah himself is guidance. And if thou shouldst follow their desires after the knowledge which hath come unto thee, then wouldst thou have from Allah no protecting guardian nor helper. Those unto whom we have given the scripture, who read it with the right reading, those believe in it, and whoso doth believe in it, those are they who are the losers. O oh, children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and how I preferred you to all creatures. And guard yourselves against a day when no soul will in aught avail another, nor will compensation be accepted from it, nor will intercession be of use to it, nor will they be helped. And remember, when his Lord tried Abraham with his commands, and he fulfilled them, he said, Lo, I have appointed thee a leader for mankind. And Abraham said, And of my offspring will there be leaders? He said, My covenant includeth not wrongdoers. And when we made the house at Mecca a resort for mankind and a sanctuary, saying, Take as your place of worship the place where Abraham stood to pray, and we imposed a duty upon Abraham and Ishmael, saying, Purify my house for those who go around, and those who meditate therein, and those who bow down and prostrate themselves in worship. And when Abraham prayed, My Lord, make this a region of security, and bestow upon its people fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day, he answered, As for him who disbelieveth, I shall leave him in contentment for a while, then I shall compel him to the doom of fire, a hapless journey's end. And when Abraham and Ishmael were raising the foundations of the house, Abraham prayed, Our Lord, accept from us this duty. Lo, thou, only thou, art the hearer, the knower our Lord, and make us submissive unto thee, and of our seed a nation submissive unto thee, and show us our ways of worship, and relent toward us. Lo, thou, only thou, art the relenting, the merciful. Our Lord, and raise up in their midst a messenger from among them, who shall recite unto them thy revelations, and shall instruct them in the scripture, and in wisdom, and shall make them grow. Lo, thou, only thou, art the mighty, wise." And who forsaketh the religion of Abraham, save him who befooleth himself? Verily, we chose him in the world, and, lo, in the hereafter he is among the righteous. When his Lord said unto him, Surrender, he said, I have surrendered to the Lord of the worlds. The same did Abraham enjoin upon his sons, and also Jacob, saying, O oh, my sons, lo, Allah hath chosen for you the true religion, therefore die not, save as men who have surrendered unto him. Or were ye present when death came to Jacob, when he said unto his sons, What will ye worship after me? They said, We shall worship thy God, the God of thy fathers, Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac, one God, and unto him we have surrendered. Those are our people who have passed away. 
Theirs is that which they earned, and yours is that which ye earn, and ye will not be asked of what they used to do. And they say, Be Jews or Christians, then ye will be rightly guided. Say unto them, O Mohammed, Nay, but we follow the religion of Abraham, the upright, and he was not of the idolaters. Say, O Muslims, we believe in Allah and that which is revealed unto us, and that which was revealed unto Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the tribes, and that which Moses and Jesus received, and which the prophets received from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and unto him we have surrendered. And if they believe in the like of that which ye believe, then they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, then they are in schism, and Allah will suffice thee for defence against them. He is the hearer, the knower. We take our colour from Allah, and who is better than Allah at colouring? We are his worshippers. Say unto the people of the Scripture, Dispute ye with us concerning Allah when he is our Lord and your Lord. Ours are our works, and yours are your works. We look to him alone. Or say ye that Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes were Jews or Christians? Say, Do ye know best, or doth Allah? And who is more unjust than he who hideth the testimony which he hath received from Allah? Allah is not unaware of what ye do. Those are people who have passed away. Theirs is that which they earned, and yours is that which ye earn. And ye will not be asked of what they used to do. The foolish of the people will say, what hath turned them from the quibla which they formerly observed? Say, Unto Allah belong the east and the west, he guideth whom he will unto a straight path. Thus we have appointed you a middle nation, that ye may be witnesses against mankind, and that the messenger may be a witness against you. And we appointed the quibla which ye formerly observed, only that we might know him who followeth the messenger, from him who turneth on his heels. Truth, it was a hard test, save for those whom Allah guided, but it was not Allah's purpose that your faith should be in vain, for Allah is full of pity, merciful toward mankind. We have seen the turning of thy face to heaven, for guidance, O Muhammad, and now verily we shall make thee turn in prayer toward a quibla which is dear to thee. So turn thy face toward the invaluable place of worship, and ye, O Muslims, wheresoever ye may be, turn your faces when ye pray toward it. Lo, those who have received this scripture know that this revelation is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not unaware of what they do. And even if thou broughtest into those who have received the scripture all kinds of portents, they would not follow thy quibla, nor canst thou be a follower of their quibla, nor are some of them followers of the quibla of others. And if thou shouldst follow their desires after the knowledge which hath come unto thee, then surely wert thou of the evil doers. Those unto whom we gave the scripture recognized this revelation as they recognized their sons, but lo, a party of them knowingly conceal the truth. It is the truth from thy Lord, O Muhammad, so be not thou of those who waver. And each one hath a goal toward which he turneth, so vie with one another in good works. Wheresoever ye may be, Allah will bring you all together. Lo, Allah is able to do all things. And whencesoever thou comest forth for prayer, O Muhammad, turn thy face toward the invaluable place of worship. Lo, it is the truth from thy Lord. Allah is not unaware of what ye do. Whencesoever thou comest forth, turn thy face toward the invaluable place of worship, and wheresoever ye may be, O Muslims, turn your faces toward it when ye pray, so that men may have no argument against you, save such of them as do injustice. Fear them not, but fear me, and so that I may complete my grace upon you, and that ye may be guided. Even as we have sent unto you a messenger from among you, who reciteth unto you our revelation, and causeth you to grow, and teacheth you the scripture and wisdom, and teacheth you that which ye knew not. Therefore remember me, I will remember you. Give thanks to me, and reject not me. O ye who believe, seek help in steadfastness and prayer. Lo, Allah is with the steadfast. And call not those who are slain in the way of Allah dead. Nay, they are living, only ye perceive not. And surely we shall try you with something of fear and hunger, and loss of wealth and lives and crops but give glad tidings to the steadfast, who say, When a misfortune striketh them, Lo, we are Allah's, and lo, unto him we are returning. Such are they on whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy, such are the rightly guided. Lo, the mountains, As Safa and Al Marwa, are among the indications of Allah. It is therefore no sin for him who is on pilgrimage to the house of God or visiteth it to go around them, as the pagan custom is. 
and he who doeth good of his own accord, for him, lo, Allah is responsive, aware. Lo, those who hide the proofs and the guidance, which we revealed, after we had made it clear to mankind in the scripture, such are accursed of Allah, and accursed of those who have the power to curse. Except those who repent, and amend, and make manifest the truth, these it is toward whom I relent. I am the relenting, the merciful. Lo, those who disbelieve, and die while they are disbelievers, on them is the curse of Allah, and of angels, and of men combined. They ever dwell therein. The doom will not be lightened for them, neither will they be reprieved. Your God is one God, there is no God save Him, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Lo, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the difference of night and day, and the ships which run upon the sea with that which is of use to men, and the water which Allah sendeth down from the sky, thereby reviving the earth after its death, and dispersing all kinds of beasts therein, and in the ordinance of the winds, and the clouds obedient between heaven and earth, are signs of Allah's sovereignty for people who have sense. Yet of mankind are some who take unto themselves objects of worship which they set as rivals to Allah, loving them with a love like that which is the due of Allah only. Those who believe are stauncher in their love for Allah. Oh, that those who do evil had but known on the day when they behold their doom that power belongeth wholly to Allah, and that Allah is severe in punishment. On the day when those who were followed disowned those who followed them, and they behold the doom, and all their aims collapse with them. And those who were but followers were say, If a return were possible for us, we would disown them even as they have disowned us. Thus will Allah show them their own deeds as anguish for them, and they will not emerge from the fire. O mankind, eat of that which is lawful and wholesome in the earth, and follow not in the footsteps of the devil. Lo, he is an open enemy for you. He enjoineth upon you only the evil and the foul, and that you should tell concerning Allah that which ye know not. And when it is said unto them, Follow that which Allah hath revealed, they say, We follow that wherein we found our fathers. What, even though their fathers were wholly unintelligent and had no guidance? The likeness of those who disbelieve in relation to the messenger is as the likeness of one who calleth unto that which heareth not, except a shout and cry, Deaf, dumb, blind, therefore they have no sense. O ye who believe, eat of the good things wherewith we have provided you, and render thanks to Allah if it is indeed he whom ye worship. He hath forbidden you only carrion and blood and swine flesh, and that which hath been immolated in the name of any other than Allah. But he who is driven by necessity, neither craving nor transgressing, it is no sin for him. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. Lo, those who hide aught of the scripture which Allah hath revealed, and purchase a small gain therewith, they eat into their bellies nothing else than fire. Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he make them grow. Theirs will be a painful doom. Those are they who purchase error at the price of guidance, and torment at the price of pardon, how constant are they in their strife to reach the fire! That is because Allah hath revealed the scripture with the truth. Lo, those who find a cause of disagreement in the scripture are in open schism. It is not righteousness that ye turn your faces to the east and the west, but righteous is he who believeth in Allah, and the last day, and the angels, and the scripture, and the prophets, and giveth wealth, for love of him, to kinsfolk and to orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, and to those who ask, and to set slaves free, and observe proper worship, and payeth the poor due. And those who keep their treaty when they make one, and the patient in tribulation and adversity in time of stress, such are they who are sincere, such are the God-fearing. O ye who believe, retaliation is prescribed for you in the manner of the murdered, the freeman for the freeman, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. And for him who is forgiven somewhat by his injured brother, prosecution according to usage and payment unto him in kindness. This is an alleviation and a mercy from your Lord. He who transgresseth after this will have a painful doom. And there is life for you in retaliation, O men of understanding, that you may ward off evil. It is prescribed for you, when death approacheth one of you, if he leave wealth, that he bequeath unto parents, and near relatives in kindness. This is a duty for all those who ward off evil." And whoso changeth the will, after he hath heard it, the sin thereof is only upon those who change it. Lo, Allah is hearer, knower. But he who feareth from a testator some unjust or sinful clause, and maketh peace between the parties, it shall be no sin for him. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful.
O ye who believe, fasting is prescribed for you, even as it was prescribed for those before you, that ye may ward off evil. Fast a certain number of days, and for him who is sick among you, or on a journey, the same number of other days, and for those who can afford it there is a ransom, the feeding of a man in need. But whoso doeth good of his own accord, it is better for him, and that ye fast is better for you, if ye did but know. The month of Ramadan, in which was revealed the Koran, a guidance for mankind, and clear proofs of the guidance, and the criterion of right and wrong. And whosoever of you is present, let him fast the month, and whosoever of you is sick or on a journey, let him fast the same number of other days. Allah desireth for you ease, he desireth not hardship for you, and he desireth that ye should complete the period, and that ye should magnify Allah for having guided you, and that peradventure ye may be thankful. And when my servants question thee concerning me, then surely I am nigh. I answer the prayer of the suppliant when he crieth unto me. So let them hear my call, and let them trust in me, in order that they may be led aright. It is made lawful for you to go in unto your wives on the night of the fast. They are raiment for you, and ye are raiment for them. Allah is aware that ye were deceiving yourselves in this respect, and he hath turned mercy toward you and relieved you. So hold intercourse with them, and seek that which Allah hath ordained for you, and eat and drink until the white thread becometh distinct to you from the black thread of the dawn. Then strictly observe the fast till nightfall, and touch them not, but be at your devotions in the mosque. These are the limits imposed by Allah, so approach them not. Thus Allah expoundeth his revelation to mankind that they may ward off evil. And eat not up your property among yourselves in vanity, nor seek by it to gain the hearing of the judges, that ye may knowingly devour a portion of the property of others wrongfully. They ask thee, O Muhammad, of new moons. Say, they are fixed seasons for mankind and for the pilgrimage. It is not righteousness that ye go to houses by the backs thereof, as do the idolaters at certain seasons, but the righteous man is he who wardeth off evil. So go to houses by the gates thereof, and observe your duty to Allah, that ye may be successful. Fight in the way of Allah against those who fight against you, but begin not hostilities. Lo, Allah loveth not aggressors. And slay them wherever ye find them, and drive them out of the places whence they drove you out, for persecution is worse than slaughter. And fight not with them at the invaluable place of worship until they first attack you there. But if they attack you there, then slay them. Such is the reward of disbelievers. But if they desist, then lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. And fight them until persecution is no more, and religion is for Allah. But if they desist, then let there be no hostility except against wrongdoers. The forbidden month for the forbidden month, and forbidden things in retaliation. And one who attacketh you, attack him in the like manner as he attacked you. Observe your duty to Allah, and know that Allah is with those who ward off evil. Spend your wealth for the cause of Allah, and be not cast by your own hands to ruin, and do good. Lo, Allah loveth the beneficent. Perform the pilgrimage, and visit to Mecca for Allah. And if ye are prevented, then send such gifts as can be obtained with ease, and shave not your heads until the gifts have reached their destination. And whoever among you is sick, or hath an ailment of the head, must pay a ransom of fasting, or almsgiving, or offering. And if ye are in safety, then whosoever contenteth himself with the visit for the pilgrimage shall give such gifts as can be had with ease. And whosoever cannot find such gifts, then a fast of three days while on the pilgrimage, and of seven days when ye have returned, that is, ten in all. That is for him whoso folk are not present at the invaluable place of worship. Observe your duty to Allah, and know that Allah is severe in punishment." The pilgrimage is in the well-known months, and whoever is minded to perform the pilgrimage therein, let him remember that there is to be no lewdness, nor abuse, nor angry conversation on the pilgrimage. And whatsoever good ye do, Allah knoweth it. So make provision for yourself hereafter, for the best provision is to ward off evil. Therefore keep your duty unto me, O men of understanding. It is no sin for you that ye seek the bounty of your Lord by trading. But when ye press on in the multitude from Arafat, remember Allah by the sacred monument. Remember him as he hath guided you, although before ye were aware of those astray. Then hasten onward from the place whence the multitude hasteneth onward, and ask forgiveness of Allah. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. And when ye have completed your devotions, then remember Allah as ye remember your fathers, or with a more lively remembrance. But of mankind is he who saith, Our Lord! 
Give unto us in the world, and he hath no portion in the hereafter. And of them also is he who saith, Our Lord, give unto us in the world that which is good, and in the hereafter that which is good, and guard us from the doom of fire. For them there is in store a goodly portion out of that which they have earned. Allah is swift at reckoning. Remember Allah through the appointed days. Then whoso hasteneth his departure by two days, it is no sin for him, and whoso delayeth, it is no sin for him, that is, for him who wardeth off evil. Be careful of your duty to Allah, and know that unto him ye will be gathered. And of mankind there is he who so conversation on the life of this world pleaseth thee, Muhammad, and he calleth Allah to witness as to that which is in his heart, yet he is the most rigid of opponents. And when he turneth away from thee, his effort in the land is to make mischief therein, and to destroy the crops and the cattle, and Allah loveth not mischief. And when it is said unto him, Be careful of thy duty to Allah, pride taketh him to sin. Hell will settle his account, an evil resting place. And of mankind is he who would sell himself, seeking the pleasure of Allah, and Allah hath compassion on his bondmen. O ye who believe, come all of you into submission unto him, and follow not the footsteps of the devil. Lo, he is an open enemy for you. And if ye slide back, after the clear proofs have come unto you, then know that Allah is mighty, wise. Wait they for naught else than that Allah should come unto them in the shadow of the clouds with the angels? Then the case would already be judged. All cases go back to Allah for judgment. Ask of the children of Israel how many a clear revelation we gave them. He who altereth the grace of Allah after it hath come unto him, for him, lo, Allah is severe in punishment. Beautified is the life of the world for those who disbelieve they make a jest of the believers. But those who keep their duty to Allah will be above them on the day of resurrection. Allah giveth without stint to whom he will. Mankind were one community, and Allah sent unto them prophets as bearers of good tidings and as warners, and revealed therewith the scripture, with the truth that it might judge between mankind concerning that wherein they differed. And only those unto whom the scripture was given differed concerning it, after clear proofs had come unto them, through hatred one of another. And Allah by his will guided those who believe unto the truth of that concerning which they differed. Allah guideth whom he will unto a straight path. Or think ye that ye will enter paradise, while yet there hath not come unto you the like of that which came to those who passed away before you? Affliction and adversity befell them. They were shaken as with earthquake, till the messenger of Allah and those who believed along with him said, when cometh Allah's help? Now surely Allah's help is nigh. They ask thee, O Muhammad, what they shall spend. Say, that which ye spend for good must go to parents and near kindred and orphans and the needy and the wayfarer. And whatsoever good ye do, lo, Allah is aware of it. Warfare is ordained for you, though it is hateful unto you. But it may happen that ye hate a thing which is good for you, and it may happen that ye love a thing which is bad for you. Allah knoweth, ye know not. They question thee, O Muhammad, with regard to warfare in the sacred month. Say, warfare therein is a great transgression, but to turn men from the way of Allah, and to disbelieve in him, and in the invaluable place of worship, and to expel his people thence, is a greater with Allah, for persecution is worse than killing. And they will not cease from fighting against you till they have made you renegades with your religion, if they can. And whoso becometh a renegade and dieth in his disbelief, such are they whose works have fallen both in the world and the hereafter. Such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. Lo, those who believe, and those who emigrate to escape the persecution, and strive in the way of Allah, these have hope of Allah's mercy. Allah is forgiving, merciful. They question thee about strong drink in games of chance. Say, in both there is great sin, and some utility for men, but the sin of them is greater than their usefulness. And they ask thee what they ought to spend, say, that which is superfluous. Thus Allah maketh plain to you his revelations, that haply ye may reflect upon the world and the hereafter. And they question thee concerning orphans, say, to improve their lot is best, and if ye mingle your affairs with theirs, then they are your brothers. Allah knoweth him who spoileth from him who improveth. Had Allah willed, he could have overburdened you, Allah is mighty, wise. Wed not idolatresses till they believe, for lo, a believing bondwoman is better than an idolatress though she please you, and give not your daughters in marriage to idolaters till they believe, 
For lo, a believing slave is better than an idolater, though he please you. These invite unto the fire, and Allah inviteth unto the garden, and unto forgiveness by his grace, and expoundeth his revelations to mankind, that haply they may remember. They question thee, O Muhammad, concerning menstruation. Say, It is an illness, so let women alone at such times, and go not in unto them till they are cleansed. And when they have purified themselves, then go in unto them as Allah hath enjoined upon you. Truly, Allah loveth those who turn unto him, and loveth those who have a care for cleanness. Your women are a tilth for you to cultivate, so go to your tilth as ye will, and send good deeds before you for your souls, and fear Allah, and know that ye will one day meet him. Give glad tidings to believers, O Muhammad. And make not Allah, by your oaths, a hindrance to your being righteous and observing your duty unto him, and making peace among mankind. Allah is hearer, knower. Allah will not take you to task for that which is unintentional in your oaths, but he will take you to task for that which your hearts have garnered. Allah is forgiving, clement. Those who forswear their wives must wait four months. Then, if they change their mind, lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if they decide upon divorce, let them remember that Allah is hearer, knower. Women who are divorced shall wait, keeping themselves apart, three monthly courses. And it is not lawful for them that they should conceal that which Allah hath created in their wombs, if they are believers in Allah and the last day. And their husbands would do better to take them back in that case if they desire a reconciliation. And they, women, have rights similar to those of men over them in kindness, and men are a degree above them. Allah is mighty, wise. Divorce must be pronounced twice, and then a woman must be retained in honor or released in kindness. And it is not lawful for you that ye take from women aught of that which ye have given them, except in the case when both fear that they may not be able to keep within the limits imposed by Allah. And if ye fear that they may not be able to keep the limits of Allah, in that case it is no sin for either of them if the woman ransom herself. These are the limits imposed by Allah. Transgress them not. For whoso transgresseth Allah's limits, such are wrongdoers. And if he hath divorced her the third time, then she is not lawful unto him thereafter, until she hath wedded another husband. Then if he, the other husband, divorce her, it is no sin for both of them that they come together again, if they consider that they are able to observe the limits of Allah. These are the limits of Allah. He manifesteth them for people who have knowledge. When ye have divorced women, and they have reached their term, then retain them in kindness, or release them in kindness. Retain them not to their hurt, so that ye transgress the limits. He who doeth that hath wronged his soul. Make not the revelations of Allah a laughing-stock by your behavior, but remember Allah's grace upon you, and that which he hath revealed unto you of the scriptures and of wisdom, whereby he doth exhort you. Observe your duty to Allah, and know that Allah is aware of all things. And when you have divorced women, and they reach their term, place not difficulties in the way of their marrying their husbands, if it is agreed between them in kindness. This is an admonition for him among you who believeth in Allah and the last day. That is more virtuous for you, and cleaner. Allah knoweth, ye know not. Mothers shall suckle their children for two whole years, that is, for those who wish to complete the suckling. The duty of feeding and clothing nursing mothers in a seemly manner is upon the father of the child. No one should be charged beyond his capacity. A mother should not be made to suffer because of her child, nor should he to whom the child is born be made to suffer because of his child. And on the father's heir is incumbent the like of which was incumbent on the father. If they desire to wean the child by mutual consent, and after consultation, it is no sin for them. And if ye wish to give your children out to nurse, it is no sin for you, provided that ye pay what is due from you in kindness. Observe your duty to Allah, and know that Allah is seer of what you do. Such of you as die, and leave behind them wives, they, the wives, shall wait, keeping themselves apart, four months and ten days. And when they reach the term prescribed for them, then there is no sin for you in aught that they may do with themselves in decency. Allah is informed of what ye do. There is no sin for you in that which ye proclaim or hide in your minds concerning your troth with women. Allah knoweth that ye will remember them. But plight not your troth with women except by uttering a recognized form of words. And do not consummate the marriage until the term prescribed is run. Know that Allah knoweth what is in your minds, so be aware of him, and know that Allah is forgiving, clement. 
It is no sin for you, if ye divorce women, while yet ye have not touched them, nor appointed unto them a portion. Provide for them, the rich according to his means, and the straitened according to his means, a fair provision. This is a bounden duty for those who do good. If ye divorce them before ye have touched them, and ye have appointed unto them a portion, then pay the half of that which ye appointed, unless they, the women, agree to forgo it, or he agreeth to forgo it in whose hands is the marriage tie. To forgo is nearer to piety, and forget not kindness among yourselves. Allah is seer of what ye do. Be guardians of your prayers, and of the midmost prayer, and stand up with devotion to Allah. And if ye go in fear, then pray standing or on horseback. And when ye are again in safety, remember Allah, as he hath taught you, that which heretofore ye knew not. In the case of those of you who are about to die, and leave behind them wives, they should bequeath unto their wives a provision for the year without turning them out. But if they go out of their own accord, there is no sin for you, and that which they do of themselves within their rights. Allah is mighty, wise. For divorced women a provision in kindness, a duty for those who ward off evil. Thus Allah expoundeth unto you his revelations, so that ye may understand. Bethink thee, O Muhammad, of those of old, who went forth from their habitations in their thousands, fearing death, and Allah said unto them, Die, and then he brought them back to life. Lo, Allah is a lord of kindness to mankind, but most of mankind give not thanks. Fight in the way of Allah, and know that Allah is hearer, knower. Who is it that will lend unto Allah a goodly loan, so that he may give it increase manifold? Allah straighteneth and enlargeth. Unto him ye will return. Bethink thee of the leaders of the children of Israel after Moses, how they said unto a prophet whom they had, Set up for us a king, and we will fight in Allah's way. He said, Would you then refrain from fighting, if fighting were prescribed for you? They said, Why should we not fight in Allah's way, when we have been driven from our dwellings with our children? Yet, when fighting was prescribed for them, they turned away, all save a few of them. Allah is aware of evil doers. Their prophet said unto them, Lo, Allah hath raised up Saul to be a king for you. They said, How can he have kingdom over us, when we are more deserving of the kingdom than he is? since he hath not been given wealth enough. He said, Lo, Allah hath chosen him above you, and hath increased him abundantly in wisdom and stature. Allah bestoweth his sovereignty on whom he will. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. And their prophet said unto them, Lo, the token of his kingdom is that there shall come unto you the ark, wherein is peace of reassurance from your Lord, and a remnant of that which the house of Moses and the house of Aaron left behind, the angels bearing it. Lo, herein shall be a token for you, if in truth ye are believers. And when Saul set out with the army, he said, Lo, Allah will try you by the ordeal of a river. Whosoever therefore drinketh thereof, he is not of me, and whosoever tasteth it, he is not of me, save him who taketh thereof in the hollow of his hand. But they drank thereof, all save a few of them. And after he had crossed the river, he and those who believed with him, they said, We have no power this day against Goliath and his hosts. But those who knew that they would meet Allah exclaimed, How many a little company hath overcome a mighty host by Allah's leave? Allah is with the steadfast. And when they went into the field against Goliath and his host, they said, Our Lord, bestow on us endurance, make our foothold sure, and give us help against the disbelieving folk. So they routed them by Allah's leave, and David slew Goliath, and Allah gave him the kingdom and wisdom, and taught him of that which he willeth. And if Allah had not repelled some men by others, the earth would have been corrupted. But Allah is a Lord of kindness to his creatures. These are the portents of Allah which we recite unto thee, Muhammad, with truth, and, lo, thou art of the number of our messengers. Of these messengers, some whom we have caused to excel others, and of whom there are some unto whom Allah spake, while some of them he exalted above others in degree. And we gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty, and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. And if Allah had so willed it, those who followed after them would not have fought one with another after the clear proofs had come unto them. But they differed, some of them believing and some disbelieving. And if Allah had so willed it, they would not have fought with one another, but Allah doeth what he will. O ye who believe, spend of that wherewith we have provided you, ere a day come when there will be no trafficking, nor friendship, nor intercession. The disbelievers, they are among the wrongdoers. Allah, there is no God save him, the alive, the eternal. Neither slumber nor sleep overtaketh him. 
Unto him belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens, and whatsoever is in the earth. Who is he that intercedeth with him, save by his leave? He knoweth that which is in the front of them, and that which is behind them, while they encompass nothing of his knowledge, save what he will. His throne includeth the heavens and the earth, and he is never weary of preserving them. He is the sublime, the tremendous. There is no compulsion in religion. The right direction is henceforth distinct from error. And he who rejecteth false deities and believe in Allah hath grasped a firm handhold which will never break. Allah is hearer, knower. Allah is the protecting guardian of those who believe. He bringeth them out of darkness into light. As for those who disbelieve, their patrons are false deities. They bring them out of light into darkness. Such are rightful owners of the fire. They will abide therein. Bethink thee of him who had an argument with Abraham about his Lord, because Allah had given him the kingdom. How, when Abraham said, My Lord is he who giveth life and causeth death, he answered, I give life and cause death. Abraham said, Lo, Allah causeth the sun to rise in the east, and so do thou cause it to come up from the west. Thus was the disbeliever abashed, and Allah guideth not wrong-doing folk. Or bethink thee of the like of him who, passing by a township which had fallen into utter ruin, exclaimed, How shall Allah give this township life after its death? And Allah made him die a hundred years, then brought him back to life. He said, How long hast thou tarried? The man said, I have tarried a day, or part of a day. He said, Nay, but thou hast tarried for a hundred years. Just look at thy food and thy drink which have not rotted. Look at thine ass, and that we may make thee a token unto mankind. Look at the bones, how we adjust them, and then cover them with flesh. And when the matter became clear unto him, he said, I know now that Allah is able to do all things. And when Abraham said unto his Lord, My Lord, show me how thou givest life to the dead, he said, Dost thou not believe? Abraham said, Yea, but I ask in order that my heart may be at ease. His Lord said, Take four of the birds, and cause them to incline unto thee, then place a part of them on each hill. Then call them, they will come to thee in haste, and know that Allah is mighty, wise. The likeness of those who spend their wealth in Allah's way is as the likeness of a grain which groweth seven ears, in every ear a hundred grains. Allah giveth increase manifold to whom he will. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. Those who spend their wealth for the cause of Allah, and afterward make not reproach and injury to follow that which they have spent, their reward is with their Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. A kind word with absolute forgiveness is better than almsgiving followed by injury. Allah is absolute, clement. O ye who believe, render not vain your almsgiving by reproach and injury, like him who spendeth his wealth only to be seen of men, and believeth not in Allah in the last day. His likeness is as the likeness of a rock, wherein is dust of the earth. A rainstorm smiteth it, leaving it smooth and bare. They have no control of aught of that which they have gained. Allah guideth not the disbelieving folk. And the likeness of those who spend their wealth in search of Allah's pleasure, and for the strengthening of their souls, is the likeness of a garden on a height. The rainstorm smiteth it, and it bringeth forth its fruit twofold. And if the rainstorm smite it not, then the shower. Allah is seer of what ye do. Would any of you like to have a garden of palm trees and vines, with rivers flowing underneath it, with all kinds of fruit for him therein, and old age hath stricken him, and he hath feeble offspring, and a fiery whirlwind striketh it, and it is all consumed by fire? Thus Allah maketh plain his revelations unto you, in order that ye may give thought. O ye who believe, spend of the good things which ye have earned, and of that which we bring forth from the earth for you, and seek not the bad with intent to spend thereof in charity, when you would not take it for yourselves save with disdain, and know that Allah is absolute, owner of praise. The devil promiseth you destitution, and enjoineth on you lewdness, but Allah promiseth you forgiveness from himself with bounty. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. He giveth wisdom unto whom he will, and he unto whom wisdom is given, he truly hath received abundant good. But none would remember except men of understanding. Whatever alms ye spend, or vow, ye vow, lo, Allah knoweth it. Wrongdoers have no helpers. If ye publish your almsgiving, it is well, but if ye hide it, and give it to the poor, it will be better for you, and will atone for some of your ill deeds. Allah is informed of what ye do. The guiding of them is not thy duty, O Muhammad, but Allah guideth whom he will. And whatsoever good thing ye spend, it is for yourselves, when ye spend not in search of Allah's countenance. 
and whatsoever good things ye spend, it will be repaid to you in full, and ye will not be wronged. Alms are for the poor, who are straitened for the cause of Allah, who cannot travel in the land for trade. The unthinking man accounteth them wealthy because of their restraint. Thou shalt know them by their mark, they do not beg of men with importunity. And whatsoever good thing ye spend, lo, Allah knoweth it. Those who spend their wealth by night and day, by stealth and openly, verily their reward is with their Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. Those who swallow usury cannot rise up, save as he ariseth, whom the devil hath prostrated by his touch. That is because they say, Trade is just like usury, whereas Allah permitteth trade, and forbiddeth usury. He unto whom an admonition from his Lord cometh, and he refraineth in obedience thereto, he shall keep the profits of that which is past, and his affair henceforth is with Allah. As for him who returneth to usury, such are rightful owners of the fire. They will abide therein. Allah hath blighted usury, and made almsgiving fruitful. Allah loveth not the impious and guilty. Lo, those who believe and do good works, and establish worship, and pay the poor due, their reward is with their Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. O ye who believe, observe your duty to Allah, and give up what remaineth due to you from usury, if ye are in truth believers. And if ye do not, then be warned of war against you from Allah and his messenger. And if ye repent, then have ye your principle without interest. Wrong not, and ye shall not be wronged. And if the debtor is in straitened circumstances, then let there be postponement to the time of ease, and that ye remit the debt as an almgiving would be better for you if ye did but know. And guard yourselves against a day in which ye will be brought back to Allah. Then every soul will be paid in full, that which it hath earned, and they will not be wronged. O ye who believe, when ye contract a debt for a fixed term, record it in writing. Let a scribe record it in writing between you in terms of equity. No scribe should refuse to write as Allah hath taught him, so let him write, and he who incurreth the debt dictate, and let him observe its duty to Allah his Lord, and diminish not thereof. But if he who oweth the debt is of low understanding, or weak, or unable himself to dictate, then let the guardian of his interest dictate in terms of equity. And call to witness, from among your men, two witnesses. And if two men be not at hand, then a man and two women, of such as ye approve as witnesses, so that if the one erreth, through forgetfulness, the other will remember. And the witnesses must not refuse when they are summoned. Be not adverse to writing down the contract, whether it be small or great, with record of the term thereof. That is more equitable in the sight of Allah, and more sure for testimony, and the best way of avoiding doubt between you, save only in the case when it is actual merchandise which ye transfer among yourselves from hand to hand. In that case it is no sin for you if ye write it not." and have witnesses, when ye sell one to another, and let no harm be done to scribe or witness. If ye do harm to them, lo, it is a sin in you. Observe your duty to Allah. Allah is teaching you, and Allah is knower of all things. If ye be on a journey and cannot find a scribe, then a pledge in hand shall suffice. And if one of you entrusteth to another, let him who is trusted deliver up that which is entrusted to him, according to the pact between them, and let him observe his duty to Allah his Lord. Hide not testimony. He who hideth it, verily his heart is sinful. Allah is aware of what ye do. Unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens, and whatsoever is in the earth. And whether ye make known what is in your minds, or hide it, Allah will bring you to account for it. He will forgive whom he will, and he will punish whom he will. Allah is able to do all things. The messenger believeth in that which hath been revealed unto him from his Lord, and so do believers. Each one believeth in Allah and his angels, and his scriptures, and his messengers. We make no distinction between any of his messengers. And they say, We hear and we obey. Grant us thy forgiveness, our Lord unto thee is the journeying. Allah tasketh not a soul beyond its scope. For it is only that which it hath earned, and against it only that which it hath deserved. Our Lord, condemn us not if we forget or miss the mark. Our Lord, lay not on us such a burden as thou didst lay on those before us. Our Lord, impose not on us that which we have not the strength to bear. Pardon us, absolve us, and have mercy on us, thou our protector, and give us victory over the disbelieving folk. End of Surah 2